Breaking down the debate last night in Ellensburg between Democrat Kim Schreier and Republican Dino Rossi in the 8th Congressional District race. Yeah, this is one of those races people are watching nationally, and our uh, political reporter, Natalie Brand, co-moderated it she was in you. Ellensburg last night. You're there this morning. Good morning, Natalie. So, uh, economy and immigration are two of the kind of hot-button uh, topics, both locally and nationally. Did they stick to party lines? Was there anything that jumped out to you? Every day. Well, these candidates definitely had clear differences across the, the both sides ideologically. There were certainly clear contrasts, which is what you would expect in this debate. And this debate, in debating and talking about those big issues, really brought the contrasts out. And I have to tell you, I just stepped inside this cafe. We're going live in front of a, a breakfast cafe, and there's a Rotary Club having uh, its monthly meeting. And there are supporters super fired up across both sides. What they took away from this debate, it seems like the support of their candidate of choice really solidified uh, based on the exchanges that we were able to bring out of the candidates last night. And let's show you one of them, this clip on the economy. Well, we need to keep the economy strong because that what ends up happening and there's opportunities and jobs for everybody. And, and there will be. You know, my opponent just talked about everybody paying their fair share, but she wants to repeal the tax cuts that will give, you know, a $2,821 increase to people, families, just regular families in the 8th Congressional District. That isn't, that isn't uh, you know, that, that isn't going to solve these problems. It's just going to hurt families. And so, you know, this is something that uh, we're definitely going to disagree on. We need to do whatever we can to support the middle class. And I would add that $125 a month, that's okay for the middle class, but we could do so much better. It's really not enough, especially when you're cutting Medicare and Social Security to pay for it. It comes out as a net negative for middle class family. And my position has always been clear that I oppose the part of that tax plan that gave the vast majority of the benefits to the wealthiest and to corporations. And we know that does not trickle down and it did not do nearly enough for the middle class. So if I were reworking it, I would take away some of those uh, benefits for the wealthiest, close the loopholes that let people get away without paying their fair share and keep benefits for the middle class. So other big issues and topics where you heard contrast were on health care, of course. We also dove into trade, especially since this state and this district specifically are so dependent on trade. We asked them about the current trade tensions and tariffs, which both candidates said they are against. We discussed the uh, environment. And then another big one was immigration. So much to dig into on that issue from uh, worker visas, temporary worker visas, which is a big issue for uh, the agricultural community out here and farmers. Uh, there are a lot in the 8th Congressional District and also uh, DACA, the program for hundreds of thousands of young undocumented immigrants known as dreamers. So here's an exchange on the topic of immigration. We're a nation of immigrants, and immigration is one of the most important topics here in the 8th District. What we're seeing at our southern border is just evidence of the inhumane policies of this administration that really are only allowed to take place because of a broken immigration system. And that time and again, Democrats and Republican career politicians have failed to come to the table to really pursue common sense, comprehensive immigration reform that will secure our borders and keep families together and have an earned path to citizenship for people who are already here and working and keeping our economy afloat. And we have to make sure that we have border security, whether it's a physical barrier or could be electronic monitoring or, or human beings as well. But we have to make sure that we have a functioning border. Without a functioning border, you really don't have a country. And so we have to make sure that happens. You know, as far as separating families, uh, I, I said right up front that we, we shouldn't be separating families. That's not something we should be doing. Um, the other thing, too, when it comes to immigration, especially for the agricultural community and others, is that we need to have a guest worker program that works. And guest worker program is separate from immigration. It's, it's different. People are going to come from another country, do the work, and then go back to where they came from. But we need to know who's coming. So this was the first and likely the very only debate between these two 8th Congressional District candidates, again, Republican Dino Rossi and Democratic candidate Dr. Kim Schreier. 
The reason why this district is being nationally watched is it is around one of around 23 districts nationwide that voted both for Hillary Clinton in 2016, but also reelected a Republican to the U.S. House. Since the district was created, it's been represented by a Republican in Congress. But Democrats believe that the wind is at their backs this year and they have a chance to flip it. It's on that national target list, which is why so much money and so much national attention and national resources are being poured into this district, which spreads from the east side of the Cascades. Here we are in Ellensburg and Kittitas County. It goes up to Wenatchee and then also includes eastern parts of King County, increasingly uh, Democratic leaning suburbs of King County and then also down south to Pierce County. Uh, a very diverse district, both in when you're talking about the jobs and the types of voters in this district and their concerns, which again, specific to the 8th district but also pretty universal nationwide what people are talking about when it comes to health care, the economy, immigration, uh, trade. And again, we were inside talking to some of the very engaged Rotarians in there. Their rule is they will not talk about politics in the meeting. That's how they get along and stay friends over the breakfast hour. But they've been coming outside and sharing their thoughts about just how competitive this race is. It's considered a toss up. And if you talk to those voters in there, they know it. Natalie Brand breaking down last night's very important debate in the 8th Congressional District.